Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I just wanted to quickly um, share something for you uh, with you. I'm reading on peace, different verses uh, concerning peace. And um, everybody knows this, but I just wanted to add a little opinion. Um, in Galatians 5.22, it's written, and I've got it right here in front of you guys, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. This is the measure of success, not your graduation, not your scores at school, although we do try, right? Not if you're a janitor or you're running a huge uh, multi-billion dollar company. This is the measure of success. The success that you would have the fruits of the Spirit, that is a success. It is a work that God does in our hearts. God brings us from glory to glory, and that work the fruit of that work in your spirit, in you, is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. And something else I want you to know. Remember Paul when he said, if you have, if you were to ask for anything, ask for love, to have love, you have everything. You remember how he said that if you have, if you don't have love, you have none of these things? Well, look at the order. It starts with love, and love automatically brings joy. And when you are filled with joy, you are at peace. And when you are at peace, you can be very patient and long-suffering. And when you are patient and long-suffering, there's a gentleness to you. And when there's a beautiful gentleness to you because of your long-suffering, because of the peace, because you're filled with joy, because you have love, there is a real goodness to you, and all of this brings on faith. So ask for love. Ask for these fruits of the Spirit. Ask to be truly successful. When you face God, He's not going to look at your title. He's not going to look at the fact that you were able to buy a house, pay it off, have money in your account, and all these planes and everything. He's going to ask you, do you have love? And if you have love, you have all of these things. Praise be to God and his teachings. Lord, I pray that we all, Lord, would benefit and develop in the fruits of the Spirit. Let our hearts be overflowing with the, how much you love us. And let us take that love and be filled with it to give to others. Lord, this is one thing that he all will recognize is the love we have for one another. The love we give out to others. And let that bring joy to us and to others. Peace. Let us be long-suffering with discernment and wisdom. Let us be gentle and good and filled with faith. Let us not fear a single thing because God, nothing will be done unless it's within your will. We trust you. And when we trust you, you got us. God bless you people. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Have a wonderful week. Be blessed and stay close to God. Amen.